Hello everyone, this is Dongwan Lee. Let's talk about tunneling field effect transistor, I'll call TFET for short. Before introducing the subject, this video is recommended for the person who knows about transistor generally or attended semiconductor lectures. Let me see your content. First, I'll explain how the concept of TFET came out. Then, I'll explain the tunneling effect briefly to explain TFET. After that, I'll explain how TFET works and strengths or weaknesses of TFET. Now, let us talk about the background of the TFET. As you know, most of devices consist of T MOSFET and there are lots of research about improving efficiency of MOSFET. We can improve MOSFET's efficiency by reducing off-current and increasing on-current. The representative way was reducing the channel length, but it has a definite limit. As we learned, Dibble or hot carrier injection or punch through could be a defect of MOSFET. Moreover, researchers have developed so many techniques for silicon materials, so people focused on new transistor mechanism using silicon techniques. One of the new mechanism is using quantum tunneling effect. Then, what is quantum tunneling effect? By definition, tunneling effect is phenomenon where a wave function gets propagated through a potential barrier. In classical mechanics, if the particle's kinetic energy is smaller than various potential energy, transmission cannot happen, such as upper figure. However, in quantum mechanics, the transmission wave occurs if the barrier length is comparable to wave length of particle such as lower figure. The particle's wave decays exponentially in the barrier region, but if the barrier region is short enough, then the transmission wave could not be negligible. So let's talk about the way TFET works. MOSFET has the same time of major carrier at drain and source. However, TFET has different type of major carrier and there is much larger gap between regions. If drain is n-type, then source is p-type and channel is intrinsic silicon. Please look at the energy diagram. Left side is drain region with n-type, middle side is channel region and right side is drain region with n type for each graph. In the off state, the energy gap between balance band of source and conduction band of channel is large, so tunneling barrier is thick, then tunneling cannot happen. In the on state, its right graph, the energy gap between body and the silicon uh, electron in the balance band in source is not large to pass through. So, tunneling can happen in on state. To sum up, the biggest difference between MOSFET and TFET operation is channel or tunneling for carry movement and different type of drain source. So far, we investigated TFET operation lightly than Let's talk about strengths and weaknesses of TFET. Look at this voltage current graph. X axis is about gate voltage and Y axis is about drain current in log scale. In this graph, we have to look at the gradient of subthreshold reason, it's before saturation reason. If the gradient is big, then it will occur small amount of off current compared to on current then power leaking at off state will reduce so it could be a more efficient transistor the gradient of MOSFET is much smaller than TFET so this transistor makes much lower off current so TFET is much better to reduce off state power leaking but we can easily find out TFET has too much low on current, so it should be developed. Another good thing is that 
TFET don't use channel for current, so double or hot carry injection cannot happen. However, there are some weaknesses. I can tell you two things. First is TAT, trap assisted tunneling effect, and second is DIBT, drain induced barrier tunneling. First, trap assisted tunneling. During the semiconductor fabrication process, Various factors create energy levels in which carriers can exist between energy gaps. Here, we call the energy level trap. Traps make carriers move in off state and making it easier to tunnel, resulting in a higher current in off state. I said before, this transistor has strength at low off current but while the semiconductor fabrication process happening um, it it could be a uh, very defection yeah so tat must not happen second is drain induced barrier tunneling this effect is similar to Dibble, so i'll explain briefly when we scaling down the transistor for putting many transistors in one chip, then channel length gets shorter, then electrons can pass through easier at low gate voltage, then off current gets larger. This is Dibble effect. DIBT is similar to Dibble. If we make channel length shorter, then the barrier of drain gets lower then tunneling happens too much easier to control off state. Look at the diagram. These all lines are in off state. If channel is long enough like red or blue, the barrier is large enough so tunneling cannot happen in off state. However, tunneling can easily happen in black line. This row shows the tunneling is much easier. Then the, this transistor cannot have any strength, so many researches are needed to improve. Thank you for listening.